Hi everybody, it's Karen here from tapascolor.co.uk. Thank you very, very much for joining me today. Uh, this is what I've been making today. Um, and uh, I've made it in the colours of the Welsh flag. Now, tomorrow is St David's Day. And St David is the patron saint of Wales. And we do make a very big thing of it. Children go to school in national dress and they uh, they sing Welsh songs and they act out little plays in Welsh uh, and they do, you know, Welsh traditional dances and the uh, adults wear a daffodil which is the national flower of Wales uh, or a leek in their lapel um, and the flag will be flying and it will be a, a great big festival. Everybody loves it. We really, really, we really, really get into it. And uh, this little box, well, you know, you, it could hold something like a lipstick, but in this particular case, it is holding a little fridge magnet in the shape of a love spoon. Now, love spoons were uh, a Welsh tradition, and young men would carve them for the, uh, you know, for the, for their girlfriends when they were when they were courting as we would say, um, and uh, it would be, you know, it was like, you know, it was a token of, 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 of affection, of love. And uh, this one, is a, it's, it's made of some kind of resin, but it's done a pretty good job of imitating wood, and it's got the daffodil on the top, and it says Cymru there, which is Welsh for Wales. And I have actually got a full-size love spoon here to show you because I was given this, well, my husband and I were given this on our wedding day by some friends. And uh, it's got a, a very non-traditional message on the top there. It was carved specially for us, um, and it says live long and prosper. Because uh, uh, my husband and I are Star Trekkers. We met at a Star Trek convention. And uh, if you like Star Trek, that is a phrase that you will probably recognise. And it's got the clasped hands uh, there. They wanted to do the um, the Vulcan salute, which is the you know the parted hand like that, uh, but uh, they couldn't quite manage that one. So uh, I'm not going to show you how to make that. I am going to show you how I made this box. And if you stick with me, we'll get on to it. These are the things that I'm going to be using to make the box today. I've got two pieces of Cucumber Crush card, and they're both the same size. They're four inches by six and a quarter. I've got a little scrap of real red glimmer paper. I only need a tiny amount. And I have a little piece of Whisper White, which is one inch by one and a half inches. I'm going to be using a half inch circle punch, and I'm going to be using this little heart shaped die out of the Baker's Box Thin Nuts. When I cut the card for the base and the lid of the box, I cut them both to the same size. And if I score them in the same place, then the lid will be too tight for the base. I need to create some room. And the way that I'm doing that is I'm going to use my box lid shim. Now I got this idea from watching Connie Stewart. Uh, and what it basically does, it's just a piece of a uh, window sheet that I've scored and folded so that it fits over the edge of my uh, my scoreboard here. And I'm just going to butt my card up against it and then I'm just going to score at uh, three quarters of an inch and at one and a half inches. Okay, now I've already scored the base and forgot to turn the camera on, so sorry about that. Um, and again, it, the base was scored just the same as this at three quarters of an inch and an inch and a half on all four sides. I just didn't put the, the box shim in there. So uh, you can just go ahead and just do that. Okay, so three quarters of an inch and an inch and a half. Okay, now to make sure that I know this is the lid, I'm going to write here where it's going to be covered. I'm going to write in pencil the word lid so that I don't get confused and try and uh, put them together in the wrong order. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to burnish all my folds and then we're going to start doing some cutting. Here's my box base with my folds all nicely burnished and now I'm going to go and do some snipping. I'm going to do some cutting right now. On the short edge here, we have four small squares in the corners and two rectangles. And I'm going to cut away these three squares here. Just 
like that and then I'm going to snip into this one to release it from the side there and now I'm just going to uh, snip away the edges there and I'm also going to just trim that edge there just just a little bit okay and I'm going to do the same on this side actually yes I'm going to trim that bit as well do the same here Now I have that shape. Now I'm going to start sticking it together. So I am going to put fast fuse on the inside of these pieces. And with the fast fuse wants to play. Come on. There you go. And I'm going to put fast fuse on the outside, okay, this side of these pieces. So there's a whole lot of fusing going on. And the trick with fast fuse, always, 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 is use a light touch, much lighter than you think you're going to need, and to flick it away when you are finished. Okay, right, so now I folded these pieces back to sort of keep them out of the way for just us for now and I'm just going to create my box by bringing in my bottom flaps and lining up with the corners. Okay, bring these pieces inside and just line them up with the corners. I've got an excess card going on there and I'm just going to fold over these pieces just like that. And there we have the box base and isn't that finish absolutely professional. So I've made a start on the lid of my box and I've snipped away all the pieces that I don't want uh, and before I start putting it together there are a couple of things that I want to do with it. First of all it's always easier to decorate the box while it's flat rather than putting it all together. So I've got my little scrap of Whisper White here and I'm just going to use some liquid adhesive for this because I want to make sure I've got it in the right place and I'm covering up that word lid that I wrote on there earlier on even though I wrote it in pencil. All right, so if I fold that away, you can kind of get an idea of how that's going to, how that's going to look, not what we have there. And uh, this is the piece of glimmer paper and I've just cut out the heart with that die from the Baker's box set. So uh, we haven't got a dragon stamp or die in Stampin' Up! so I'm just going to improvise. I'm going to do one more thing before I put the box together and that is to snip out a little thumb hole on the sides here to help you open the box because it is going to be quite a snug fit. Okay so I'm going to do that one there and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to try and match up where they are, but uh, near as will will do. I'm not going to get upset if it's a few millimetres off. Okay, and I'm just going to go and do the same thing as I did for the base of the box, and that's to put adhesive on 
these surfaces and on these surfaces. So here we go, moment of truth. I'm going to put my fridge magnet inside my box and I'm going to put the lid on and that is a nice snug fit. Now uh, if I were doing this again I would probably put uh, an extra layer of card onto my box lid shim just to push it out that little bit further because while it does fit it is very very snug indeed it is a very tight fit I can hold it upside down like that and you know, nothing is going to happen but that is it for today and I do hope that you've enjoyed this project and if so then uh, please come back and join me again sometime you can subscribe to my channel or give me a, a like below leave me a comment hop on over to my blog or my facebook page i'd love to see you particularly if you leave me a nice picture of what you've been up to on my facebook page i would really really like that but uh, that is it for today thank you very very much for joining me and i hope i'll see you again soon bye bye <laughs>